we've been shipping on the null lens for a little while now. This is the optical collimation device for the RED. And uh, well, let me show you again how it works real quick, just so everyone's clear. You put this lens, which is locked to infinity, on the camera mount. And uh, I've loosened these two uh, four millimeter hex screws on the top just so that you can rotate this ring. This adjusts your back focus. So as I rotate this ring, when the image pops into sharp focus, I'll just go past it each way so you can see. When it pops into nice sharp focus, and it's really easy to see, boom. That's in focus. I'm looking at a brick wall here with lots of detail. This far building here, there's a little bit of detail on the rooftop. It's really clear and easy to see when that pops into focus. And, uh, and it is just that simple. It is a very direct, literal device for what is going on. But what happens if you don't have a window that you can point out or something else about 150 or more feet away, which is all you need to make this work? What if you don't have that available? Well, we now have the null target. And this is a prototype, so that's why you can look here, it says serial number 0000. Uh, it is soon to be on market, we'll hope in a month or two. But I just take this, put it together with my null lens, and then I put this up on the camera. And I'll turn it on, and I, it's a really bright sunny day out, so I had the shutter dialed down on the camera, but you can see I can adjust this, and I actually have a dimmer on the uh, the null target, and it's a target. It is a uh, Siemens star, goes to a very precise point in the center, and I just do the same process again. I'm gonna rotate this until I see that focus pop in sharp in the center, and I've done it. I'm accurate to within five microns of the, on the mount for the correct depth, which is accurate. That's as close as you're ever gonna need to be. It's as close as the camera can actually possibly see. You might say, well, why would I need a separate, why would you goes, go and make a separate null lens and a separate null target? Well, if all you need is the null lens, it's a lot less expensive for, for one thing. But also, I can take this and I can separate these. And maybe I'm going to get this in another lens mount. Or maybe I'm going to get some other device that measures something else. But what these do are very precise and for what they're built for. Measure, setting to a PL mount lens, setting accurate focus on the null lens. These have no moving parts in them. They are dead on accurate. They will not shift over time. They are very precise devices. Put them together, and together they make a single extremely precise device.